What's up, everybody? I'm your host with the most, Jack Provost, and right now we're getting ready to play some chess, some 3D model chess. All right, so first things first, what we're going to need to do is add a board. So we'll go here. We will come over here to some of our pieces. Here we go. Boom. Now we have the beginning of a chessboard. So before I get into making the chessboard, let's go ahead and bring our pieces. Let's move this guy because it will be in our way. Let's slide her over for now. All right. So here we go. Boom, chess pieces. Okay, here we go. Now, we've got all these pieces. Let's see? Here we go. Obviously, we've got... We've got 20 pieces. We have one, two, three, four. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is double this. Okay, we need it. Uh oh. Okay, let's come down here. Let's unselect all of our pieces. Otherwise, they will all be moving at once. There we go. Now we've got them all deselected. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We are going to come over here and go to object. We're going to go to duplicate. So now we've duplicated this. What we're going to do, we are going Okay. So there we go. We just doubled up our, our board here. Oop, 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 oop. Let's zoom in to make sure we've got everything straight. Because what we don't need to be doing is duplicating something. Coming to find out, it is not on there straight. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah. Nope, that is close, but no so good. Okay. Let's duplicate. Boom. Go ahead and boom. Place it here. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to start placing our chess pieces. And then we'll unselect. Boom. Come straight back. Deselect. Select. Move it over. Okay. You see just how we're doing this. Pretty neat, right? Hold on, let's uh let's get in just take a new angle here. Let's zoom in. You see you see what I'm doing here? Boom. Okay. So look at this. Look at this. We can grab whoops, let's uh unselect that guy. We can grab these and we could just go whoop. My bad. I just totally hit the wrong button. There we go. Okay, see? You see what I'm doing? Boom. See what we're doing here? Just putting our chess pieces on. Deselect, and you just do this individually, one at a time. Grab them, move them. Simple stuff, dude. Pretty neat. Pretty neat how easy this software is. I've never came across software that was quite so easy. Of course, I haven't done a whole lot of extensive research into 3D modeling software. But I have to say, this is pretty neat. 
So we'll just, boom, go right over here. Since that is kind of out of my area, we'll go here, boom. In fact, what we can do is center our view, just like that. Boom, we can move it over. But you get the idea of what, what we can do with this software. This is just, this is just very unique, very cool. So, before I go much further, I would like to ask you to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. That way you don't miss any of our videos because we've got plenty more coming. In fact, my son gets on here and makes some of these uh, 3D modeling videos as well. Um, and so, with that being said, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And please, please, please do not forget to comment below. Comments are what fuel fuel our videos. If you tell us what you would like us to make, we will do our best to try and make it. So with that being said, go ahead and comment below and let us know what you'd like us to make. Anyways, pretty neat, right? Pretty freaking neat. Let me show you something else. Let me get let me get some more of these put put up because I would like to I'd like to show you something pretty neat that you could do if you had some screen casting software screen casting software is fairly inexpensive or can be and uh, it's pretty pretty awesome to have that's currently what I am using right now okay so we will unclick that and we will bring in some more Bring in some more. Boom. All right. Unclick them. And bring it back. Okay. Just like so. So with this being said, or with this being done, <laughs> you can see exactly what, what the potential is here. I mean... Dude, this is this is just flat out neat. Oh, also, let me show you something else. Let's say that this is just not the right size for you. You would like something smaller. Watch this. You just click over here, and what we can do is we can we can uh, hold on, get a better view. We can shrink it. We can make it bigger. Let's see here. We can make it bigger. And eh, see, see. Very neat. Very neat stuff. So, we can also go like this. We can do our rotation right here. Okay. Or, you could do this standard. Like so. Now, Okay, so now you see our chest, our chest set. Okay. Okay. Here we go, and we are going to, oh no, I lifted the piece, my bad. Sometimes I push the wrong buttons. But yeah, there we go, we'll put our horse, our knight. And then, grab our last rook, and boom, there we go. So there we go, there is our chest set. Oh look it, I think our horse is backwards. Let's see. Can we mirror him? There we go. See that little mirror button there? You just hit mirror. Boom. Done. Okay. So let's go over here. Let's hit center view. And let's unclick it. And let's take a look. Now. There we go. Pretty neat, right? Pretty freaking neat. Okay. So. Let me show you something. What we can also do... 
is we can take our piece here. And look, we can make a little chess game. Boop. Boop. <laughs> oh, so you could set up a little 3D deal showing a showing a chess board, whatever, you know what I mean? You could actually uh, take screenshots and just slowly move them piece by piece by piece. You can do all sorts of stuff, dude. There, there's a million and one things you could do. You can send this right over to a, a 3D screen printing machine and print out chess pieces. Dude, awesome. I mean, come on, dude, that'd be cool alone. Um, oh, think about this. Here's what I want you to think about. Imagine if you had maybe something like a CNC machine, something that you can do with metal. Okay, metal chess pieces. Think about that. Think about copper chess pieces. Think about brass chess pieces. That's something to think about. You don't see a lot of chess, I mean, or marble. Marble would be a very good one. People like marble, but, I mean, come on. How many people have brass chess pieces? Or silver or gold? You know, that's, that's something to think about. Pretty neat. It make your stuff unique. So with that being said, this is the the rest of the uh, chess game. I'm not going to put all the rest of your pieces on there. I could um, put some white ones on there. Um, Mind you that I just now uh, noticed that this software seems to, because I took a picture of myself and inserted it in as a 3D object. And now what it does, what it did, is it removed everything that was black. So that tells me that it does not see that color. What the colors it does see is turquoise and white. Those two are primaries. My hand is seen the majority of my hand because my hand is a lighter color. So with that being said. Uh, when I had my hood up, my face was completely gone. My hat was gone. So, oh, so was my chest. All you would see would be behind me. But anyways, I'll get into that a little bit later in another video. So if you've hung out with me this long, I would like to again ask you to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And do not forget to subscribe. We've got plenty more videos like this coming. Hope you enjoyed.